Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to cover our very first topic around the computer vision. You have seen my previous video where I have captured all the exam topics and the very first topic which is advanced UI automation. In that, we have something called use AI computer vision features in projects. This is the first topic that we are going to start for the new exam preparation. This is for the advanced exam preparation. Now, let's get started and see one of the questions that is there on the UiPath practice test for the advanced exam. Okay, This is for the UiPath automation developer professional exam. Okay, This is a practice test. Now, one of the questions, let us read this. What is the purpose of the CV screen scope activity in UiPath? So it is asking what is the purpose of this activity and there are also few more questions which I'm going to show you. Now first thing before we try to attempt the question and get an answer, I'm going to show you one of this page. This link I have kept in the advanced UI automation. Whatever the important links that you have to use to prepare for the exam, I have kept it in this particular sheet and you can pretty well utilize it. So this is the link. So once you open it or simply type computer vision in Google, you will get this page. Okay. Now in this one, I have highlighted few important points which are important for the exam. Now let me go through them and I'm also going to show you how to practically use them. So you will have a practical session. You will also have a theoretical portion what are important for the exam. So why delay? Let's get started. Now the very first thing, let's look at this. Due to the fact that computer vision activities have moved to the UI automation package in 2019.10. This is the version where what happened previously when we initially started, there used to be a computer vision activity. I mean, activities were part of its own specific package. But since 2019 package, they have added into this one. Do you see UiPath.UIAutomation.activities? So it has become integral part of this particular package. So that is the meaning. So they are saying installing the UI automation v19.10.1 package in a project that already contains version of computer vision from the older package, right? Throws an error. So they are saying if you are, if you had used in the past the computer vision activity that will not work with the recent ones. Okay, that is one, but that is not very important for the exam point of view, but for your knowledge. Now the next thing. The computer vision activities are not compatible with Windows 7. Okay, this is also another point to know. Now, what are the important points for the exam? Here I have made, you know, highlighted them. I have told you in my UiPath advanced uh, certification playlist, right? In the strategy, I have told you I am using an extension to highlight like this. So, the I am going to show you that extension name. So, the extension is this one okay super simple highlighter so in case you have already if you are a new member so kindly install this extension or any other extension of your choice just which would help you to highlight some of the exam points okay so now let's read this here the main difference between so how do you highlight i'm going to show you you first click on this okay uh, sorry let's say i want to highlight this particular element so right click and select this and mark it whatever color you want okay so you can see it got marked getting it so this is how you'll be marking in case you would like to remove something you just cut that particular part it will go so for this one if you select also like this you can remove so this is the part bit of functionality of how to use it okay now let us focus on the points the main difference between the computer vision activities and their classic counterparts is their usage of computer vision neural network. So what they are saying, the computer vision activities contain refactored, refactored means improved fundamental UI automation activities such as click type in to get text. Now you go to UiPA Studio and go to the activities panel and here in the activity panel, simply type, let me slightly increase the font. Okay, so here you simply type CV or computer vision and you see there are around 10 activities at present. In the future, if you're watching in the future, currently I'm using 2023.4.5, the community edition. 
Now, if you are using any other version, doesn't matter. Most of the concepts would remain same. The concepts are same, so don't worry. Whatever your studio versions are, doesn't matter. You just have to focus on the concepts. Now, if you see here, I have got multiple activities of computer vision. CV check, CV click like that. There are so many activities. Now, what it is saying, the classic activity that we have, right? Click, type into, get text. They are dependent on selectors. While the similar activities are also present in the UAPA Studio as computer vision click, computer vision type into. The normal type into also there, right? You know it. So if I'm going to type click, these are the normal ones. Now this click activity utilizes selectors while the computer vision activities usage utilizes something called neural network. That is the difference. So let, let me read the point once again. The computer vision activities contain refactored or improved fundamental UI automation activities such as click, type into, get text. The main difference between the computer vision activities and their classic counterparts is their usage of computer vision neural network. That means the computer, any activity where you find CV, CV click, CV type into, CV get text, they use computer vision neural network. Very important point, make a note. Developed in-house by our machine learning department. Clear? This point is very important. The neural network is able to identify the UI elements such as buttons, text inputs, fields, check boxes without the use of selectors. That means any activity which has a CV, when you see CV around the activity, that means that is a, they are computer vision activities. And they do not use selectors, they use the neural network, computer vision neural network. Clear? All right. Created mainly for automation in virtual desktop environments such as Citrix machines. So this is used in the Citrix machines or the virtual desktop environments. I'm going to show you a practical demo of this, okay? These activities bypass the issue of why these activities are created first of all when you are working on a virtual environment or a Citrix environment or a RDP, remote desktop protocol, right? If you are trying to automate an application which is running inside a virtual desktop, then you will have non-existent or unreliable selectors. So when you are trying to automate using the normal click or type into activity, it doesn't get the proper selectors. So non-existent, that means the selectors are not available or they're unreliable. That is why we are using computer vision. Then how the computer vision works? So computer vision without the use of selectors. So it doesn't use selectors. So how it does it work? It works by sending images of the window you are automating to the neural neural network. It sends the image. Remember that it sends images of the window or the application you are trying to automate to the neural network where it is analyzed and all the UI elements are identified and labeled according to what they are. Getting it? Now let's see a demo of this so that it will be clear. First thing you type CV. As per the documentation, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to drag and drop the CV screen scope. Now, to help you, this is the application. I'm going to provide the link of this application, any Taylor application and there are a couple of other applications. You can download it from them so that you can practice. In the description of the video, I've given it. So please do get them. Now, this application requires dotnet framework in case you're getting something like it is downloading the dotnet framework please allow it that is where this application will function okay that has happened to me while downloading from my location so these are all uipath built applications this is not uh, you know this these are all uipath provided they are also available in uipath academy if you have it really good or else use my link to download it once you have it click on indicate on screen and i'm going to indicate the application now you see the moment I'm indicating it is selecting a specific portion or the entire portion of the application. Now let's say I want to only need this. I can do that. So this way also it will work. It is going to analyze. So what happened now? It has sent the image of that to the newer neural network. And after that it analyzed and it found this many elements are present inside your application. Okay. Let me redo it again. Let's say I'm going to click on uh, indicate this button and click on indicate on scope let's say i'm going to select the entire application so what will happen it will take the image of the application from my computer 
it will send it to the neural network of ui path and then gets a response back and here you see this is the output it tells you in your application these many ui elements are present do you see all are highlighted that is the meaning and in case you would like to only select a specific portion of the application this is very important see like this you can do it you are selecting an area this is called area okay this is called area so that way also you can select a specific area and you can see it has detected the elements so you have understood this much part right now let me read the documentation very very important some of the points that i've highlighted non existent or unreliable selectors that helps to identify the non existent or unreliable selector by sending images of the window to the neural network okay important points let's move on to the next page here i am going to show you all the computer vision activities function only when inside a cv screen scope activity for all the computer vision activity activities like click then you have type into all this right all of this will function only when they are dragged and dropped inside the cv screen scope activity remember very important point cv screen scope scope means a container okay this will only function if it is inside this outside this it won't work very important point all the computer vision activities function only when inside a cv screen scope activity which establishes the actual connection to the neural network server very important point this question also will come in the practice test so establishes the actual connection to the neural network server clear thus enabling you to analyze the ui of the application you want to automate very important points any workflow using the computer vision activities must begin dragging the cv screen scope activity this is your first step first you have to drag drag the cv screen scope activity okay point to be noted okay now another important point i'll show you area section can also be used you saw me right i was trying to drag and drop and select a specific area or the portion of the application ui of the application you want to automate this is especially useful so why are you doing this see where there are multiple text fields that have the same label so let's say the same options are there in let's in multiple parts of the application same accounts accounts are there in multiple parts cash is there in multiple parts so it will it will not understand which one you are trying to act so that is where you will be selecting a specific portion of the application is it clear okay very important points now let us answer this question so what is the question here what is the purpose of cv screen scope activity in ui path so you have you know got through the points now answer this to capture screenshot of application uis and save from the future reference no this is wrong to display real time ui changes in target application for debugging purpose no to create a separate window for interacting with target application during automation this is also not exactly right to establish a connection to the neural network what is the purpose of cv screen scope we just read to establish the connection to the neural network server and enable the analysis of ui this is the right answer and where do you find in the documentation just now we saw here it which establishes the actual connection to the neural network server getting it so this is the answer now let me show you the next question now look at the question again which this is a different question which ui path activity is used to establish a connection to the neural network for the computer vision activity so the answer here is cv it's the same question formed in two different ways okay this is the answer now are you ready to answer some of the questions based on what we have learned now okay so let's get started for the computer vision couple of q and a questions that i have prepared this is personally built right so whatever we have read just based on that knowledge we will be asking i'll be asking few more questions let's see how many of you can answer this and all your answer please do type it in the comment section okay the first question when using computer vision activities for automation what is the primary function of the computer vision neural network what is its primary function identifying selectors analyzing image files identifying ui element of the application in a citrix environment automating virtual desktops 
right? So actually, if you see all of these options looks pretty similar, right? It does, we are using it for automatic virtual desktops. It analyzes images, but there is a, one of the answer is the best answer. What is the best answer? C, identifying UI elements of the application in a Citrix environment, right? We identify cell, we don't identify cell, so this is a wrong answer. Analyzing image file. Do we just use it to analyze image files? No. The main purpose is to identify UI elements of the application in a Citrix environment to automate, definitely. So the best answer you have to select is C. So C is the best answer, rest are wrong, okay? Let's move on to next question. What problem do computer vision activities aim to solve in virtual desktop environment like Citrix machines? Inadequate screen resolution, no. Unreliable selectors, yes. Non-existent selectors, yes. Slow network connections, no, B and C. Now tell me which is the right answer. Just, you know, in this video I have shown you at the beginning, answer is B and C, okay? Unreliable selectors and non-existent selector. This is the answer. So B and C will be the right answer. Let's see this question. What action must be taken at the beginning of any workflow that involves computer vision activities? What At the beginning, what you do? You capture a screenshot, define selectors for UI elements, drag a computer vision screen scope activity to the designer panel, indicate the area to be automated on the screen. What is the very first step we learned in the documentation? Okay, pause your, pause this video and answer this question. So the answer is C, okay? Drag a CV screen scope activity to the designer panel. Now, in the comment section, let me know how many of you were able to rightly answer it. Simply put your comment. If you're able to rightly answer it, simply say, yes, I was able to rightly answer it. So great guys. So let's move on to our next topic.